whack it on you and hitting, hitting the ball in the ground. Same thing as I was saying there earlier, knowing the right foot and everything. I did this a few weeks ago, or I think it was on maps ago in Kazoo, and one of the courses that we have, and they have a lot of work done now, the courses, if you understand. And the course was there, and I was going through it about which leg, if he's hitting that way, which leg goes out. When you want to pull in the ball down there, which leg should it be on? Is he strong? Cock players, there is a bit of a tendency to cock players and strike the ball to lean back under the thing. But you just take his shoulder there, the smallest shoulder, tiny nudge off you. I ain't gotten them. Got balls on me, taking load over the corner flag or something. So tip players, even if you watch into county lads, second brilliant. If they can get the bit of space, and even if they can't, they're strong enough, they get down that strong leg and they'll whip through the ball. They get onto that leg. I was telling the coach the brother we were going through it on this, we were watching some young fellas. One of the coaches told me it was not Jesus Christ, Jesus. And two years telling him to go and give him. So there's a number 12 team coming through down the other lads. If you can hit him with shoulder or foot. <laughs> one, one touch. But the, like, now the guy has done a couple of coaching things, but he just got a bit tiny bit confused. And there's a huge difference, you know? If you're, if you're going shoulder to shoulder in with a fella, and you're on this leg, he's gonna, he's gonna blow you. You've the legs, as I said, determine right, right and left hands and the hold, okay? You've the grip and the hold, is a huge one. So many young people are holding, going jab lifting the wrong way. They're going down to jab lift like, with the hold turned in, uh, in like that. All those things, take them out in as fast as you can. Because it'll affect them in every one of the skills as it goes up. That's the lift in the whole act. Then you need to be just so used to the hull. And like with us, I suppose when we were younger, we had it every day, everywhere we went. It was, it was a paddy, it was a rifle, you know? It was, it was everything. It was slashing briars when you lost the road bowl. It was everything. It was young for the old days. It's Saturday morning, 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock, and you're down to the pitch, and you go to home and suck into the corner again or something, you know? So, Feet, knees, body shape, everything. What I would say is, don't try and teach them all in one day. If you're taking under 10 sets or under 8 sets tomorrow, just get the feet right one day. Repeat it the next day. Probably, because they were the young used to repeat something 12 times before they clicked it. So repeat it, then walk the way through the different things like you know. So really with this, if I'm striking out here, Am I looking to land here on this leg? He's no, pressing no. me. No. 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 So I'm looking to come across my toe. That's what we used to have. It was like you, you put across the toe and coming across the other side and pulling across the toe. Okay? So, three guys. Three guys.